My name is Drake. Some of you might know me as Aubrey Graham, actor, Grassy. You know, some of you might know me as Drake, the artist, City is Mine, but you know, those are both different parts of me. So I make up this person that you're watching right now. And that's what it is. You know, I've been surrounded by music for a really long time. My father and my my uncle's Willie Mitchell, who wrote, you know, most of uh, most of Al Green stuff. Um, my father drummed for Jerry Lee Lewis. My other uncle is Larry Graham from Graham Central Station. So, you know, in Memphis, I've been surrounded by music for a very long time. Because my first record on the radio was City Is Mine. But really, a lot of people misinterpreted that record. I wasn't like, I'm taking the city for myself. Um, I ended up doing that in, in the process. But it was more like, it was more like, yo, this, I, it was just like, I've never heard somebody come on a record and be like, I'm proud to be from here. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people talk about like the haters and I mean that's all well and good, but that's everywhere you go. The old time killing to this day is one of my favorite records. And that's saying a lot. I love music. I study music. That's a wicked record to me. He did his thing on the City is Mind beat. I can't say I wasn't aware of it. You know what I'm saying? He sent it to me. But I can't say I didn't agree with it, definitely. I mean, I, I personally, if he was gonna do that, I would have rather him do that on a separate track and just do a regular remix with me. We could have shot a video for it. Like, well, I guess what bothers me so much about it is we could have been cool. And it's like, yeah, I'm upset about the fact that, that, that now I feel like when I see this dude, I can't really say what up because it's like, if I do, I'm gonna feel like, you know, it's a shot to my pride. You know what I'm saying? I'm feel like a punk if I go up to you and say, what up after you, you know, you try to put me in a situation. And then when the situation went down, when it you was say situation for the people that don't know what the situation you said, this thing. Yeah, I didn't elaborate beat. on it. Basically, he dismayed him Moriarty, who's a rapper from Toronto, um, you know, messes with Hustle Man out here. I'm sure you've heard of him. Um, rock and roll, big records, right? You know, big street records, a lot of street DVDs. He does his things from Jungle. Um, he this mayhem. They've had a, this ongoing beef that he claims he doesn't want any part of, and claims he doesn't want to participate in. But I think he selectively places himself uh, to instigate it further and whatever. Um, anyway, man, that's his business, really. But he this mayhem on my beat, put my verse on the end of the song, so it sounded like I was down with it, and then sent it to like you know a bunch of DJs that he's cool with. They start spinning it on the radio. It looked like I leaked it myself. And, and basically, like, Mayhem came to me like, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? let's talk for a second because, you know, I don't know you and you're on a diss record about me. So, you know, luckily, Mayhem is a real level-headed dude. We got the politic. And, um, and, and, and basically, when, when all that was going down, I was trying to find out, like, what's up? Because initially, when he first called, he was like, yo, don't worry about it. Let, don't let them do step to you. They ain't real. They ain't hard. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? And Black Jays is the fam. And then, you know, when it all went down for me and I had to deal with it is like this dude was, you know, you know, off, off wherever, doing whatever, somewhere else. It just sort of, it bugged me, man. It, it bugged me because it was like somebody I looked up to at one point. It was somebody that I was like, I used to see out and be like, yo, that's that nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. He opened for Jay. You know, he had records. He was killing them. He worked with Pharrell. He worked with the Clips. But then I went and worked with the Clips. You know what I'm saying? And then I started doing things that he was doing. And I think he just, I don't know, I, maybe it affected him. I don't really know what was going on inside his head. But I hear a lot of similar stories from a lot of people, you know. And that's that's when you have to start wondering about somebody. When you start hearing consistent stories of like, yeah, I don't really mess with that dude. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he did me like this. That's when you have to start wondering about somebody's credibility. Like, right. you know, but, but, but at the end of the day, man, I'm not trying to beef with anybody. Like, I say, I, I don't really, like, lyrically, I really don't think that, he would want to get into it anyway. And I mean, the street thing to me is stupid. Like, you know what I'm saying? I still have, I, I want to make albums before I have to deal with stupid shit like that, you know? It's for my grease balls, you know? Getting that guap by any means necessary. Ambush DVD. What it is, what it does, man. It's Moriarty. Who? Black Gaze? The Black Gaze? Motherfucker. Yeah, man, you know, um, you know, I, I felt for the, you know, that was, I was a victim of the industry politics for that one, you know, thinking, thinking, you know, a check would have got cut or something like that, but, you know, no check didn't get cut, no paperwork wasn't signed, I did, I did a couple tracks of those dudes, you know, so I found out how really gay they were, you know what I mean, for the record, you get this on tape, fuck Cardi, fuck Solitaire, whoever rolled him, 
who's that dude? Ro Homo Dollar? Roro Dollar? Fuck that dude, man. You know what I mean? Them dudes ain't out here, man. This is what it is, out here. You know what I'm saying? Big up to all the artists that's out here doing their thing, man. But that's what it is. It's Z. I do this for y'all, man. Malice, nigga. I don't know. 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 I to come a long way from a day. So with these girls on, is there anything in particular that you're looking for as far as looks, personality, or? Looks, um, classy, clean, mm -hmm. uh, just genuine. Someone that has that like X factor, essentially. Um, you know, it's like, I'd like to say that we're here when we're judging them by their personalities, but you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? No, but it's like, it's like, that's not a knock. I hope that these women are all, you know, good at heart. Mm -hmm. um, but that usually comes through in your beauty as well. Though. It's like yeah. you kind of sense like when a person's good, mm -hmm. uh, just because it kind of exudes out of them. You be residing there, cause I do things from the M town to the UK and from Spain back out to Texas. This album for my fans, but yo, this hook is for my ass. Well, there's a lot of people feeling your music, but at the same time, there's a lot of critics out there not taking you seriously based on the fact that you start on Degrassi. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can judge me if you want, that that's that's cool. Like sooner or later though, it's gonna be inevitable that your girlfriend's gonna be playing it, your mom's gonna to wanna to listen to it, your brother's gonna be like, can you get Drake to give me your autograph? So I mean, you might as well just get with it right now, like, and you're gonna hear something like this, it's gonna go, here we go, the first time around, I left the cars at the house and I put the diamonds down, them things come and they go, it's about to rhyming now, I'm seeing it clearer, the season is nearer, and still I must change to get the crown hill, have to switch it to upwards from downhill, but still that boy who's screaming out, orange man will, emerge the victim, my words are pictures, and yes the color's so loud that you heard my scripture, with four walls, give me the right brush and I draw all, I promise I've been thinking before y'all, I'm really inspired, I barely get tired and you accomplish in a week what I'm daily required uh, I meet quotas while you rappers having sleepovers spending nights in the studio trying to beat Hova be in the throne instead of being your own but look but look I'm making moves in my city so my ex-girls want to be up in the video they ex-girls are steady trying to get with me though important and vital I'm caught in a cycle and this is all I know and yes I know it well I try to explain it my effort comes to no avail I'm from that place where they release records and no one sell instead they claim king nigga it's the same thing all day long but that's the screw face rappers befriend you at first but really they two face hoping you slip a trip over your own shoelace that's why i tuck them in not giving a fuck again d r a you add the k e a hundred grand and you labels cannot play me i never go broke but in case that happen i'm dating if you got a placement up at chase manhattan and holla at me I like what I really, really like as an artist is to get that sort of same situation where I have a chunk of money and I can finish my album on my own and bring it to a label for distribution. But the thing that's difficult with that and a lot of people don't realize is that means you have to do your own marketing, which is really hard. Like a lot of people can't call MTV and be like, yo, I need to get on TRL today. Labels can. Li Liar Cohen can do that. Right. Kevin Lyles can do that. Right. But, you know, Joe, Joe Schmo from the block can't be like, yo, I need, to, I got a million dollars. That doesn't mean you're going to get you know, the love. So my, my ideal thing is to find the right situation where I'm comfortable with, with, a, with a classic album. And honestly, my, play, my goal, I shouldn't even call it my goal. This year, this album, I want my best new artist Grammy. I want it.